Hello everyone, this is the new problem about application of differential equation. The problem is determine the two significant figures, the velocity of scape for each of the celestial bodies listed. The data given are rough and g may be taken to be 6.1 times 10 raised to negative 3 miles per second square. So as we can see, we already have the table and the answer. So what we have to do now is just to prove that the answer in miles per second is the same at what we arrived to. So let's head on to the video. I just put the table and I deleted all already the problem. So as I said, I just put in the table present so first we have to put our given in the problem the given is the given is 6.1 by 10 raised to negative 3 miles per second square so bear with me I forgot to put the miles per second square next is we have to find the missing the missing is the velocity escape which is signified by VE right so we also know our formula and our formula for this problem will be um, VE is equals to square root of 2 GR so first let's try our solution for Venus answer should be 6.3 and we are about to prove that right so let's start VE VE is equals to square root of 2 by the 0 0.85 plus the G which is 6.1 times 10 raised to negative 3 multiplied by 3800 so we shouldn't forget to put our units always that's why we have to put in the given to our units so I put in the given miles per second square for the gravity and then I rewrite it so that you will see how we arrive into our final unit. So the units are plugged in, our given are plugged in, so we have to use our calculator to be able to compute for it for fast computation so I'm just gonna explain why we arrive in mile per second because it's square root everything will be multiplied by one half so two times one half will be one so we will be left with miles per second so meanwhile while I'm computing 6.27 is our computation so since we are asked for two significant figures so my final answer would be 6.3 miles per second so let's continue our solving so next is the solution for Ma Mars 
which we should arrive in the answer of 3.1. So VE is equals to square root of 2 multiplied by 6.1 by 10 raised to negative 3, which is our gravity, multiplied by the acceleration of G at the surface, which is 0 0.38. And also the radius, which is 2100 miles. So, same as before, um, miles, miles will be cancelled, the other miles, and we will be left with one mile and one second. So, VE, using the calculator, we, we can obtain the 3.1 so VE is equals to 3.12 rounded off so we have the approximation of 3.1 miles per second so don't forget to put the miles per second so next is our solution for Jupiter. Jupiter as the largest planet. So VE is equals to square root of 2 by 2.6 by 6.1 times 10 raised to negative 3 miles per second square multiplied by the radius which is 43,000 miles so same as before we will be left with miles per second and our answer should be 37 so using calculator we have to plug we have to plug in our given and we can now arrive in our answers so VE is equals to mm, 3.2 I mean 36.98 so approximately 37 because it's rounded off miles per second so same as before that is our final answer so let's prove another which is the sun and we should arrive at the answer of 384 so let's plug in our given VE is equals to square root of 2 by 28 by 6.1 times 10 raised to negative 3 miles per second square also by the radius for 132,000 miles so VE is equals to use your calculator to solve for it Thirty-eight-four, or three hundred eighty-four point fourteen, or approximately three hundred eighty-four miles per second. So our answer is similar with the answer given for us. So the last one is Ganymede. So the next one is for Ganymede. 
So our answer should be 1.6 1.6 So, V is equal to square root of 2 by 0 0.12 by 6.1 times 10 raised to negative 3 miles per second square. Multiplied by the radius which is 1,780 miles. So, same as before, another mile, the mile will be cancelled and the second will have the exponent of 1 so our final unit would be miles per second so VE is equals to use your calculator to solve for it So our final answer will be 1.61 or approximately 1.6 miles per second. second. So that is.